I'm a firm believer that everyone should have their space on the internet where they can share their work or personal stories. However, many people procrastinate a lot when it comes to building their own websites. Trust me, I can relate to this as I've been meaning to update mine for quite some time now. One reason for this procrastination is the desire to create something perfect. So we tend to procrastinate over and over again just because we feel like we need to have a perfect looking website. Instead of waiting and wasting time, why not learn how to build your personal website in less than 10 minutes? In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can achieve this. Polywork is a platform that allows you to share everything you do in one place, from your work to your hobbies, your passion, and even your side projects. It is powered by AI, allowing you to add AI generated content to your website so you don't have to manually add your previous experience or your resume. You can use AI to generate a personalized bio, your resume and more. So if you don't have an account, you have to sign up for one. I already do, so I'll go ahead and log in. On the Polywork dashboard, you have different options to help you customize your website to your preference. You have layouts. Layout is essentially what the layout of your website would look like. Here you have a free layout called the OG profile. This is what the default layout looks like. It essentially would show you like your name, profile, your bio and resume and portfolio. But there are other options you can select if you would like to. So I'm using Trailblazer as my default one and this is what that looks like. But you can always select any of the other layout options provided for you. Apart from layout, you can also select a theme. So you can choose a color palette that suits your brand or your needs. I am using the color palette called wireframe, but you can always change it to look different. So if I change what I currently have to strawberry field, you see what that looks like. It's very different from the previous one. You can also select the typography that you use for your websites. There are options for you to choose from. I'm using the DM Sans one, but I can always change it if I want to, to any of the following options. There is also blocks. Blocks are the components that exist within your website. So you can edit things like your personal information, whether that is your name, pronoun, or your location. You can also edit the meta description and you know title of your website and also a social media image so if you want to share a link to your website and you want a certain image to appear you can always upload that here one thing you also notice is something called active blocks so these are the blocks within your website like the bio the bio which is your about me page the badges that you have the links or your resume. Now, blocks that are labeled with AI essentially mean that you can generate content using AI. So I'll show you an example with the resume block. So with the resume block, I can go in and either add my positions that are where I've worked in the past manually, or I can generate with AI. So to generate with AI, I would need to add my LinkedIn, you know, profile and then click generate and then it will upload all my positions from LinkedIn all on Polywork. Now I did not have to do anything extra. I did not have to add this here manually. So that's great. In addition to that, you can also add something called a logo wall to your website. This is essentially a space on your page where you display logos from organizations you've worked with or collaborated with in the past. So this is currently under the block library as add logo wall. So I'll go ahead and click that. Now this interestingly also uses the generate with AI feature that I highlighted before. So what I need to do here is I can manually add the logos from the organizations that I've worked with, or I can use the generate button. So I'll go ahead and click generate. And then after a few seconds, you would have a few companies listed. These are companies that personally I have worked with, right? So I'm going to go on to my website and see what was included. So 
here i now have a section on my website that says company that i've worked with and for this the data comes from linkedin if you're wondering this is companies that i have listed as companies that i've worked with from linkedin another feature i would like to highlight is the randomized style with ai functionality what this does for you is it gives you options of the type of layouts and style you would use within your website so let's try it and see what happens so randomize with ai i automatically have like a very different theme being applied to what i currently have if i change this I have a different layout and also a different theme. So you can click this button a few times to generate something you prefer without having to go select what theme you're using or what font you'd like to use. This would do everything for you. And when it gives you one that you prefer, you can then apply the theme and it becomes your default theme on your website. In the beginning of this video, I said I'm a firm believer of owning your space on the internet. So if you go ahead and create a poorly work website, you should make sure that it lives on your domain. You can connect your existing domain or create a new one and connect your Polywork website to it. I'll show you how to do that. So over here within my profile, I'll head on to settings and in settings, select domain. And on the domain, you can add your custom domain from your preferred domain registrar. If you don't have a domain register, then you can click the get a new domain to buy one to set up for your website. If you're ever curious to see what other people have created, you can click on the inspiration page to explore the amazing websites that other people from the Polywork community have created. For example, these are some from like designers, then there are some from people that are product managers, some from engineers. So you can see different websites for you to use as inspiration and see what people are adding to their website. For example, let's see what this one looks like. This is um, Joey Do Marketing's website. Interesting, right? So you can always go and check out what other people have created and use that as inspiration for what theme you would like to use for your personal website. Finally, there's also a mobile app that you can download to update your website on the go. So if you need to edit any content on your website, you can use the Polywork mobile app to do that. Great. So those are the features that Polywork offers you to create a personal website. If you enjoyed watching this video and you'd also like to create your website, you can use my custom link displayed on the screen and also linked in the description box below. An additional perk you get from using my link is you get three months premium subscription for free. This is great because you have access to all the features that Polywork offers you to create a stunning website. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you found it very helpful. If you already use Polywork, let me know in the comments what's one feature you like about it. If this is your first time hearing about it, let me know if you'll be trying it out as well. I'll see you all in my next video. Until then, have a wonderful day.